give me one good reason why you shouldn't be following me on Twitter and Instagram. Nope, not got one. Well, click the links in the description down below. Both are at Curtis Morton. What's up guys, Kurtz here and welcome to a brand new FIFA 16 video. Today we have one of those fun squad builders. I love doing little videos like this. I don't know why, but like just looking into all the different players, finding different things. is something I really enjoy and hopefully you guys enjoy it too. Sometimes we do it around stuff that like is a little bit different to this. This one is like kind of... Kind of my opinion, but at the same time, some of it is just really obvious. As you can see by the title, it's kind of like wasted careers, failed careers. I'm not sure how you want to word it, so that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be looking at players that have literally thrown their career away. Before we get stuck into it, though, as always, if you guys want to smash that like button, that would be absolutely fantastic. Also, let me know. I'm growing the beard out a little bit. I'm letting it go a bit longer than normal. What do you think? Shall I, shall I do it? Shall I go for one of those big old bushy beards? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. But nonetheless... Let's get stuck into it with our first player. And this one is potentially quite controversial. It's Wojciech Szczesny. I, I personally really, really like the guy. I'm a big fan of his. But there is no doubt that you can't say that he has wasted a big possibility in his career. Being the number one starter at Arsenal at the start of last season. Getting caught smoking in the showers. Apparently, I think he had the same thing at Roma and got dropped for a little while there. He got caught smoking. I think he's back in the Roma starting eleven, But you can't help but feel... If you're starting at your boyhood club, the club that you that raised you, almost if he hadn't had that that time at Southampton, you know, the smoking in the shower sort of thing, he could still be the number one. He was dropped for Ospina and then we bought Czech. Perhaps Chesney still would have been the number one. Now, I'm obviously delighted that we have Petr Czech, but you can't help but feel like he's kind of wasted it. Now... This one I might get a little bit of flack for, but I'm going to be brutally honest with you guys. I actually still really rate Semi Nazri, and if the guy doesn't get a move in the summer, he is so foolish. I, I honestly, I rate him so highly. The last season at Arsenal, I thought he was so good, absolutely brilliant. And the fact, I know he has won like titles and he's done a lot of stuff, but really for the last 18 months, he has not had a look in at City. I know he's had a couple injuries, but he has been out of it and he has wasted a fantastic opportunity. I think after he got those titles at City, it was time for him to move on. If it was clear that Pellegrini didn't want to use him, it probably should have made his move. But like I said, I really rate him and hopefully for his sake, he, uh, he gets a move. Because even though, of course, he left Arsenal, I still think he's a fantastic footballer. And it'd be really exciting to see him somewhere good. Now this one, I've spelt Falcao wrong, it's AO. But uh, this one is one that I'm sure you guys will all agree on. Radamel Falcao was the hottest property two years ago in Europe. Everybody wanted him. Everyone and their dog wanted this guy. Apparently I paid 13k for him at the start of the season. That is ridiculous. But nonetheless... Everyone wanted this Falcao guy, and he went to United, had a terrible season. He's gone to Chelsea. I mean, he's he's not even getting ahead of the likes of Kennedy, Remy. Like, they're getting ahead of him at this point, and it's just, it, it's a write-off for Falcao. For his sake, he needs to get a move back to Spain or anywhere. I know he's had injuries, but it is sad for him. Now, this guy is an absolute muppet. It's Niall Ranger. I'm sure you guys know who he is. You might have seen him before. He is a guy that, quite frankly... Is just known for being a bit of a muppet. He, he he's been I think he's been in prison. He's he's got Nile tattooed on his lip in there or Ranger or something something terrible. Well, he's he's recently had his contract just cancelled by Blackpool. I did actually try and buy him. One second. So so there's only there was only two of him on the market. I actually put a bid on at 300 coins. So there's now only one on the market where obviously he's not in packs anymore because he had his contract terminated, which is just ridiculous. I mean, be, being a footballer like that, he had a really promising start to it, and just what a waste. Once again, a player that really had a good opportunity and threw it away. Next up, though, we have Serge Aurier. Now, we haven't seen the true effects of this yet, but if you guys missed it, Serge Aurier was a silly, silly boy. He was playing really well at PSG. I, I think he's a good player. Obviously, they've got Van der Ville and Marquinhos have been playing right back instead. But recently, he was doing a Periscope live stream in which he was saying things like, Zlatan does... I'm not going to repeat what he said, but he does bad things to the manager. Like He's saying all this, like... This really bad stuff, like saying the manager is a so-and-so, all this sort of stuff. And obviously he's been expelled from the team. He's been like dropped to like under 18's level. He won't ever play for PSG again. And it's so, so silly of him. I, what a waste once again. Hopefully for his sake, he'll go to another uh, club and someone will, will take them and hopefully sort out his attitude. But it's very bad. Now this one, this one, I don't feel sorry for this guy at all. This is Adam Johnson. Now, as you can see, he's, he's technically still on the game. 
but he's going to be missing in our lineup. So as you can see, if we go to Adam Johnson, obviously you guys all know he is. If you click content player, he's not doesn't even appear doesn't appear on the transfer market he's actually still technically on the game and if you already had one of him you still can have him in your club but his price cap has been set to 200 coins so you can't actually sell him for any more than 200 coins so there is no Adam Johnson on the right wing but you know who I mean obviously he's He's been sentenced to six years in prison, I believe it is. Silly, silly guy, done some silly things. But next up, we have Ravel Morrison. This guy was so highly rated two, three years ago. He was obviously at United, and then he went to West Ham. I remember the game against Spurs. I think he may have scored a hat-trick playing in the false nine. Like, he had an amazing game. And he's now playing in Lazio. He wasn't actually able to play until January, I believe, because he'd signed for three clubs in a year or something along those lines. But I'm not sure if he's out, if he's getting on well over there or not. But once again, he was such a highly weight, uh, rated talent and he's kind of throwing it away. Now this one for me, I think this one again, some people will be like, oh, I'm not so sure. He's still playing at Benfica, a top club. But this guy had the potential to be incredible. When he had that first breakout season at QPR before they got promoted in the championship, everyone was rating him so incredibly highly. And then managers have come and gone and said he's lazy, he's put on weight, he doesn't try enough. He's got the talent, but he does not put in the effort that he needs to, to be a top draw player. I know, like I said, he's playing at Benfica. Not sure if it's permanent or on loan, but it's not really the heights he could have reached. He was being linked to Tottenham, lots of top, top clubs. Next up, we have Andre Arshavin. Now, where do you begin with this guy? He's very similar to... Um, to Tarap, in my opinion. Now, if we compare price, you're going to see it once again. There's only one of him on the market. I had to pay 2k to get this one. He's currently moved to a Kazakhstan side, I believe. It's FC Kairat or something along those lines. When you think it was, what, just four or five years ago, he scored two against Barcelona for Arsenal. He scored for, uh, four against Liverpool. He, on his day, he was an incredible footballer. He was... At times, one of my favourite like Arsenal players in that squad because we had a pretty poor squad. I mean, you look at you're talking Schwach and Bentner would, would regularly start with our Shavin, but nonetheless, I really did rate our Shavin, and I thought if he could put the effort in that he did once every six games, he could have been such a top draw player. But he is so inconsistent, so lazy that when he wasn't up for it, he was just terrible. And I think once again, it's a really wasted career because he could have been such a top draw player because he really did have the talent. Next up, we have personally my favourite love to hate player. I love to hate Emmanuel Adebayor. The guy is mental. He, he has a way of going to new clubs, playing fantastically for the first half a season and then just never doing anything again. He was great for Arsenal. He had that great time at City, great time at Spurs, but obviously as ultimately all of them did, he dropped off towards the end and just really kind of wasted a good opportunity. He's a player that if he really put the effort in once again and was consistent enough, could have been such a top, top striker. Like, he really was hitting some big heights at Arsenal. And it's a shame, even at City and Spurs, that before Kane burst on the scene, Adebayor was actually playing okay for a little while. And he's a player that just didn't stick with the consistency and really kind of threw away a good opportunity. And th this last one, last of the starting 11, is Mario Balotelli. I love this guy. I think he's such a talented player. But once again, he's an absolute moron. He wastes some incredible opportunities that this guy has. He could be such a player. But once again, he just doesn't have the temperament, the, the mentality. He has just, there's so many things wrong with him. I mean, we always see like back to when he was at City, even at Liverpool, he just didn't have the right mentality. I think he's a fantastic player. I, I'll never forget that game for Italy in the, I believe it was the Euros against Germany. And he was fantastic. One of the best proper breakout games I've seen for a striker. He was so, 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 so good. And once again, it, you almost got to feel like he's going to waste it. And you've got to hope he goes to the right club soon and really starts to just smash those heights again. But boys, I hope you did enjoy this. I've done it a little bit different in that I'm not playing the game today. I felt like this was a team where there was too many random players for me to actually build a playable squad out of it. Let me know in the future if you'd like to see me even just try when I have the, uh, the thing like that. Or if you're happy just to hear about the players and what I've put together. Smash that like button if you did enjoy it though. Of course, subscribe if you're new around here. Have a fantastic day. And I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.